Welcome back to my run of Bleach Tower and Bleach the Third Phantom. This time I'm tackling stage 28 of the post-game content. We're getting near the end of this. I mean, there's only two more stages after this one. No, I don't want to deploy you. You only got you don't get any real attacks until you're hit max SP, and I'm not carrying around presses. Besides the fact I have a whole ton of them. I'm like that, okay? I'm not going to even look at Arturo's portrait because I don't care. Oh, man. Seriously? Um... Pretty sure we have both these characters already, but I'm gonna try and finish this map as quickly as possible, so. Um, you can hit with a shackle hoe. It won't get rid of it, but. I can at least weaken enough to finish it off next turn. I'll leave these two dead center in case something pops up. I wouldn't be expecting it, but this map sometimes likes this. This map sometimes like to surprise us. So. Not taking any unnecessary chances this time. Ah, no Bonnie. Oh, there she is. Way in the corner. Ah, uh, it's your feet. Weird. Well, I suppose they're both tech users. And he can provide defense support, so it makes sense to try and kill him first, then. Raise your hand, Wabiske! This should end it. Albeit, in the grand scheme of things, it's still a bad pick no matter which one I attacked. It would have been better off just self-destructing, almost. At least then, it might have done damage by luck. Oh, it's got no SP. That's why it's doing it that way. Interesting. Hmm. Skill. Um, wrong move. I can still use the much more powerful, well, not much more, slightly more powerful Shakaho here. Or Shakaho, or however it's pronounced. Interesting, most of the pressure lines are way out here. Um,. I'm not going to be all that helpful considering they can still have hit her. Uh, 
better than that, though. Hmm. No, it let them come to me. Should have moved him up one. Oh well, live and learn. Oh, all, huh? Man, this guy feels like a joke. I almost wish they would give you a familiar and stuff too while they're at it. If you're gonna go through the trouble of clearing all these maps. Oh yeah, I get defense boosts from the, both characters. Almost did it. I'll have to finish it off next turn. Interesting. It doesn't really have a disadvantage, but it doesn't have an advantage either. I fear they all like rush Fujimaru. Not to be mean, but Kyan's sister is the weakest character on the field still. This one's chasing after my main. An otter, okay. Um, we finally hit max. And okay, next time we unleash our bonkai and start going to town, these guys. Take this out. Oh, yeah. No warp point for you. This map does feel noticeably easier than the last one. I wonder why. Why have all these tough maps and get to stage 28 then have like a really easy map? Doesn't make any sense. Well, either way, it's gonna get finished off next turn, so. Let's give him a piece of our mind. I suppose it might be more appropriate considering what we're fighting, right? I don't know. I mean, I did get done with another tactical role-playing and tactics blade recently, but... That game gives me mixed vibes, because a lot of the strategy elements feel a lot like um, Lord of the Rings The Third Age. Now you're largely given generic troops you have to command. So there's almost no reason to be attached to most of the units you utilize besides your mains. I suppose it's both a good thing and a bad thing, though. On one hand, it means you can treat most of your troops as disposable, from, as disposable. But on the other hand, it means there's no close attachment to most of your forces. Um. Five turn clear, I suppose. Where we're going? He's still not gonna move. Ah, oh, Bonnie. Can't 
Can't believe you actually hit that many times. Allow me to give you the payback. Double damage. Oh, yeah. Attack support. Gotcha. No defense. Sorry, I'm thinking of Gin. Still almost killed it. Okay. I suppose I can try for a four turn clear. I'll need a little luck for it though. To get this, I'm gonna depend on my enemies both attacking me while in my Bunkai state. Okay. I assume I can beat the ever-loving snot out of this guy right now. Oh yeah. Definitely beat the snot out of him. He's still wondering what happened. One moment she was there, the next thing I knew I was dead. True story. Boom. And that leaves only two. Come at me, bros. Come on. For justice. Ah. Uh, nope. No luck. He didn't attack me the way I wanted. He had to go for the flash step. You ain't flash stepping through me. But I think I'd like flash step more if you didn't have to pass through an enemy to use it. Because then you could use it to like get faster movement so your characters that normally be too slow might be able to move like five or six squares all of a sudden and they'd be more useful. You are so done for. Like, you don't know how bad you're screwed. Just can't see it with those shades on, man. Yeah, I know he's blind, so it doesn't matter either way. Like Jordy from Star Trek. Hmm. Any good rewards? Alright, nutrition tablet? Nope. So we just have a really easy map for the final two maps, okay. Till next time then. See ya!